So for relational data, we have tables and then the relationship between the tables. Let's talk about those relationships. So relational databases establish relationships to other tables via foreign keys, referencing another's table's primary key. So looking at the example here, uh, you know, this is the primary, there's a little icon here that shows you that it's the primary key. So this is the primary key. And over here in another table, it's referencing a foreign key. So that's the foreign key, that's the primary key, okay? And there are four types of relationships between relational databases and their tables. The first is one-to-one. -one. So imagine a monkey has a banana, or here we have a table called country, and it has a capital. It's one-to-one. -one. Then you have one-to-many. So a store has many customers, or you could say a book has many pages. No notice that this denotes the many here. Then you have many-to-many, -many, so a project that has many tasks, and tasks can belong to many projects. Or here, a book can have many authors, and an author can have many books, so there's many-to-many. -many. And then last is a variant on the many-to-many, -many, so and it's via a join or junction table. I just call them join tables. So a student has many classes through enrollments, and a class has many students uh, through enrollments. So here, it's the same thing. A book can have uh, many authors, an author can have many books, but it's all through a library. So you could say a book has many uh, authors through a library and an author has many uh, books through a library. Okay, so there you go.